ceremony site. Our destination is just up ahead. I know you're excited, so feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Clients? Apologies, this is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you too are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. Are you new here? What a coincidence, so am I. I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. But here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I just set my expectations too low. I'll protect us. By the way, have you seen Uncle Jean recently? That guy? I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh, <sighs> good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. By the way, have you seen Uncle Jean? That guy? Ugh, <sighs> if you're curious... <laughs> uh, The lantern right again. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Isn't that kinda embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in, and nobody feels embarrassed anymore. <laughs> That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right, I... I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks so I could eat Joy You and Chili Chicken every day! <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one, one for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, 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 it's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind! And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah! That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao Lanterns. Huh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mung, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Momo's a successful businessman. And Tsongzu makes great shell lanterns. Really? Wow. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway... 
time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. funeral parlor was once upon a time more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor during the archon war piles of corpses covered the wilderness people were plunged into misery and suffering disease was spreading all over the land death devastated the world of the living such were the times when the wangsheng funeral parlor was first established as humans its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter but slowly they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. By that, I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, Life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. It took a long, long time, longer than you'd think, to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today, neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. <laughs> the previous directors all love to tell this one too, although if you ask me, I think I tell it best. What you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that, a funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Mung. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. Alright, I'll remember you all. Uh, 
Goodbye. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Um, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh... Thank you? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuong Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. <sighs> the biggest pity of all is your lack of help. <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, stop saying creepy stuff! <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there. Not even once. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them. And left them with no regrets. <laughs>